Gear news with Jade. Hey guys, yeah, it's a whole new thing, okay? Check out the homepage. We got synths, drum machines, groove boxes, synth news. Check it out. I got it all organized very nicely. Korg, okay? Korg is throwing Hail Marys. They are going they are going all out for Nam. Alright. Yesterday we got the King Korg Neo. We got the new Micro Korg. And today they they finally fixed their website, okay? And they hit us with new tech. I see what they did there. NTS3 Chaos Pad Kit. Make your own Chaos Pad. So after the L with the Korg Replay $1,000 remake of the Chaos Pad, I think people are gonna be very happy to see this DIY Chaos Pad. So it's cute looking. I'm not really a DIY person, but it says that if you have two left hands, you can build it and it doesn't require any soldering. So that's cute. They also have the little oscilloscope that's already been there for a while. It's super small, like, cause that oscilloscope is already pretty small. So just look how tiny it is. It's cute looking. I think it would be more comparable to this one right here instead of the big boy. If you look right here, it looks like the size of the keypad of the Mac. Librarian contents coming soon. So that's cool. You're going to be able to go in here and get some different sounds or effects for it. Includes ozone elements, which lets you not only create songs, but also master them using AI. Ooh, fancy. Everybody's moving to AI. All right. New tech. NTS1 Digital Kit MK2. Look. It looks like a tiny Volca. This probably lets me know that we're not going to see any new Volcas. It would be cool to see Volcas. Like, I am a Volca fan, but I would like, like, an updated Volca. Like, after Roland gave us those little compact thingies, why would you get a Volca when you could get this way smaller device, way more polyphony? I mean, I do like Volcas, don't get me wrong. I think the Volca base, the, like, the OG Volcas, the FM, honestly, all the Volcas are pretty amazing. So, I would like to see, like, an updated Volca. But I guess we're getting this instead. Maybe we'll get Volcas. I don't think so. I mean, they already did all these drops. Built it, tweak it, connect it. A world of synthesis at your fingertips. Another DIY. They're like, you know what? Y'all do it. Cute little synthesizer. New multi-touch keyboard. Oh, is it? How is it new? Is it different than the than the Volca one? Eight-step sequencer. Cute. It has a little ARP. It's cute. It's cute. Okay. I'm hoping these are not more than $200. It also comes with ozone elements. Next, it looks like they turned their last three synthesizers, the Wave State, the Op6, and the Mod Wave into modules. So this is the official module. Like there was already a mod where you could send in your keyboard, like just like some third party thing and they would chop up your keys and just give you the module. You know, some people are into that, but this is the official one. It even comes with rack gears. So that's pretty cool. You know, let's just, let's just not make anything new this year. Let's be smart because we didn't sell a lot of these keyboards. Let's just make these modules and you know, it's a little smart move, Korg. Smart move. A new modular model that brings a big difference in the music production environment. But it looks it looks nice. It's, it's really big in the back. Like, it kind of looks like the um, Moog Mother 32 and DFAM, like, cases. But it's the actual thing. Don't forget, we also have the Wave State SE Platinum. They gotta, gotta put that plug in there. They have all the ones. You can have it however you want. You can have it with the 37 key keyboard, with the module. You can have the Big Brother. Like, you know, what, whatever you want. You can even have it in silver. So that's pretty cool. All right, Op6 module. Why, why aren't the prices on here? They should be like right there. <laughs> okay, a new modular model that revolutionizes the music. Pro Another one? These are all revolutionizing stuff? Okay, we're gonna see. I'm sure they're gonna be at NAMM. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do sound demos at NAMM because there's gonna be other people doing that and it's always a hassle to set up, but it depends. Like I'm gonna see like how easy it is. And what do I really want to try? You know, because if I really want to try it, then eventually it'll make itself into the studio. But if it's something new, I'm definitely going to try to get some time with that sec track and whatever is new and exciting, the Kai thing I'm excited to look at. But um, I haven't heard these since in person, not going to lie. I haven't had any of the last Korgs. The last Korg that I had was the Mini Log XD, which was great, but I really want battery powered 37 key synthesizer. So it's kind of like a you know, political statement. We have, yeah, the Op6, very, very, it's the same exact thing. It's just module mounted. And also don't forget, you can get it SE and silver. Then we have the ModWave module, a new modular model that stimulates the music production environment with its extreme sound. Wow. Introducing the ModWave module. Yes, yes, the ModWave, but it's a module, okay? So go look at the ModWave, see if you like the sound. And if you do, then you need space, get the module, and look, guess what? Oh no, you can't get this one in silver, sorry. But there is an MK2 with 37 keys. And there is now also an Op6 MK2. Let's see, what, what what did they add to it? Because these were going pretty cheap. These were going for, I think, $399 was the last price I saw it before they were completely gone. And for some reason, the website is 
in Japanese now. So <laughs> yeah, they, they they still haven't figured out this website, you know. They, they gotta hire Jade. Somebody has to hire Jade. All right, Grand Stage X. This was also a new announcement, I believe. Um, a new piano. I have the, not in this room, I have the SV2, which is beautiful. I love that with the, with the speakers and in white, like it's super clean looking. Um, but this is nice looking and it sounds good too. It took, takes forever to turn on, but this looks pretty nice. It doesn't have speakers because it's not an SV, but it kind of looks like my SV without the speakers and bigger. Um, cute. If I were to get a piano though, I'd probably get a Yamaha. Even though I really like my cork, but I'm, I really want that montage, if that's a piano. And yeah, and now we have the King Korg Neo down here and the Micro Korg BK. I don't, they should have just, okay, I guess they should have put this one first, <laughs> the Micro Korg, and then you can get it in black and white for a little more moolah, okay. And then I think that's it guys, unless these are new. PA Ass, MK2, and the Poetry. Oh, I haven't seen this thing. This is a cute little Boca friend. Oh, it looks like a, I don't know, it looks like a metronome with beats. Compact and simple, the rhythm box is a fun way to practice and play anywhere in time. Oh, in any time. I mean, I guess in, in time would have been a little better pun. The new KR11 is a compacted feature-packed rhythm machine which offers a portable solution to bring variety and fun to your music right now. Pioneered by the legendary Korg Donk Comatic in 1963. Oh, so it's like a, it's like a little remake? That's cute looking. Does it, does it run on batteries? Someone said, what's the obsession with battery powered gear? Not every single piece of new gear needs to be battery powered. Yes, it does. Obviously not like an 88 key keyboard, but don't give me something like this and don't make it battery powered, okay? <laughs> this would have been perfect battery powered. That's where the complaints come from, okay? So that's it for our synth news today. I wonder if like this is gonna push other companies to be like, wait, why is Roland dropping everything now? Go, go, go. So hopefully in the next few days, we're gonna see something from Roland. I don't know, maybe Electron's gonna give us something, hopefully. Maybe Yamaha will give us something else. I'm like, fingers crossed for a new reface synth, right? Or, you know, dreams, like this is way, psh, but Yamaha Montage Mini, that's not gonna happen, but that would be dope, okay? I've also come to accept that posting music on this channel hurts my channel, which is super sad because, you know, I love making music. So officially, like, I'm gonna be real serious about it this time because I've tried to do this before and I always come back to this channel because it's my main channel. But from now on, if you wanna see my music, go check out the music channel. No more music on this channel because the algorithm hates me. And if YouTube isn't showing you my videos, then, you know, that's lame because you subscribed, right? Right. So yeah, if you wanna check out my music, don't forget to check out my music channel. I've also organized my homepage for the first time, like super clean, like synthesizers, drum machines, screw boxes, gear news, which is a new thing. Yes, this is it. This is what we're doing. This is what, this is what gets you excited. So, you know, I'm here for that. But if you are gonna buy anything, you know, don't forget to use the links below. See you now.